is this. Had the Soviets succeeded in building a socialist utopia, that news would have been welcomed by socialists and no doubt by Marxists too, but it would have required conscientious Marxists to revise that allegiance, since such an outcome would have delivered a fatal blow to important Marxian theses. Marx specifically predicted that projects like the Soviet Union would fail, not in a random moment of Nostradamus-like clairvoyance, but in a detailed historical explanation such that his whole approach to history would have been discredited and the Soviet Union succeeded in building a viable and genuinely socialist society. This book covers a lot of ground, and most of that ground has been the subject of extensive campaigns of misinformation. So the aim here is to establish a factual basis upon which to conduct an informed discussion on the subject matter, rather than the kangaroo court in which Marx is so often tried in his absence. The charge is relatively straightforward. The argument runs that the failure of the Soviet Union and various other attempts to create socialism illustrate that socialism can never work, that there is something inherent in socialist ideals that will inevitably come into conflict with human nature and lead to collapse at best, mass murder at worst. There are convincing arguments which the socialists can bring to bear against this charge, and these two are fairly straightforward and indeed are compelling not just for socialists, but for many others who appreciate well-reasoned arguments and historical evidence. But there is also a set of specifically Marxian responses to the charge based on Marx's approach to historical change. These responses go further than the socialist response because they set the argument in the context of a theory of history and allow us to develop an understanding of what the Soviet experience actually means in a world historical context. Mm -hmm.